So, Kutumba is a behavioral driven framework, right? So, that is test first, test first approach. Yes, yes. Behavior driven development framework, Kutumba is a. Okay. So, what is happened in the first class? So, Kukumbar is one of the behavior driven development framework. It is nothing but the extension of test driven development framework. Let me yeah. First, whatever you have written, all the programs, all those are in a test driven development framework. Nowadays, all the time they are using this behavior driven development. So, Kukumbar is one of the behavior driven development framework. Why we are going with this cucumber means we need to write the acceptance for web applications. So in starting class, I explained introduction about cucumber. What is a cucumber? Why we go for cucumber? The main purpose of cucumber is up to now specifications means test cases are available in somewhere else. Is Test cases are separate, means specifications are somewhere else, and the test documentation means our script is somewhere else. See, if I'm given this script, every day I'm writing some programs, Selenium programs, verify login, verify logout, HMS login, HMS logout, like that. Multiple programs I'm writing here. Okay, this program is only understandable by the test engineer only. Suppose if I'm given these programs to my BA, business analyst. He's not able to getting it. Why? Right? Because all these are the programming. This is the scripting language. Only who is having idea about the Selenium? Only those guys can able to understand this type of program. This program. See, I'm writing Gmail login logout. So what is this driver dot find element? Xpath. What is this send case? Suppose if any non-technical person, if I'm giving this program, is not getting it. So the main purpose of Kukumbar is. Cucumber will merge the specifications and these test documents into one place. That's why we need to go for the Cucumber. Why? Because it is the main bridge between business analysts, test engineers and developers. Anyone can understand this language. Why? Because all my test scripts I can written in some common English language. That language is called as Gherkin language. Yes, we are using the Gherkin language to write all my scripts into some common language. To understand it by any person, BA will understand, developer will understand, test engineer will understand. Suppose if any non-technical guy is there, non-programmer, okay, even though he is able to understand my programming and everything. So what it is contains? So initially, Cucumber is implemented with Python language. After that, that Cucumber is implemented in multiple languages. It supports Java, it supports Groovy, Ruby, PHP, Python, multiple languages it will be supported. So we are using Selenium with, I can use in Selenium with Cucumber, or I can use in Ruby on Rails, or I can use in Pico Container, I can use in Spring Framework. Anywhere you can use this Cucumber Framework. Okay, so this Cucumber is nothing but behavior driven development framework which is used in the selenium not only the selenium any framework you can use this selenium hi anand how are you okay no yeah so in first class i already explained what is a cucumber why cucumber what is this so I will send that recording, first class recording, okay? Whatever the common, so whatever the basic factors are there in this Cucumber file. Cucumber file is completely rotated in future file. This is the main heart of the topic in Cucumber. We need to generate the future files. Suppose if we go to the Selenium, I need to write the scripting. I can run the scripting. Either I can use the testng or I can use the JUnit or I can use XML file somewhere else. I can write the classes and execute it. Same like that, Cucumber files is completely rotated on this feature file. So I already explained some feature file also, how to write the feature file, sample feature file. So first of all, what is a feature file? Feature file is nothing but it contains the high level business functionality. Means, what is the purpose of AUT? What is the purpose of AUT? So high functional business 
high level business functionality will be available in the feature file. So in first class, I explained one feature file, how to create the normal feature file. Suppose, see, in scripting, I am written one program, HMS login logout program I have written. So all my batches already, you are familiar with all these programs, how to perform login logout into HMS program. So this is my HMS login logout. I want to log in means first I need to open URL after that login enter username user one enter password user one click on submit button already know this program so I don't want to write the program here I want to generate my feature file so what is that feature file how to write the feature files everything explained in the first class after this session I will send that recording just to go through that recording now I can continue that scenario so first I can explain that how to write the feature file okay so I can give future future is nothing but the high level business functionality whenever i can see that line i can able to understand okay what is this feature so it is given as a the main purpose of aut so what i am performing here is i need to verify the login functionality the login functionality future in HMS application. So in that feature file, it contains multiple scenarios. So what is the scenario? Scenario is nothing but it is a one particular functionality which we need to validate. It is one particular functionality which we need to validate. So I need to go for login functionality with valid data. Sometimes I go for invalid data. Sometimes I go for some another data. So login functionality, multiple possibilities are there. I need to go for valid. Invalid, without data, multiple are there. So that is called as a scenario. Scenario is nothing but a particular functionality which is under test. So that is called as scenario. So I need to check login functionality with valid data. So already I have written this scenario, yes? So under scenario, we have three keywords are there. What is the three keywords? Anyone who is attending the first class? What are the three keywords? The given, then, when. Yes. Given, when, and then. These are all the three keywords are there. Given is nothing but a precondition. Why? Because to see, if I want to perform login, what is the precondition? I need to open an URL. Without open an URL, it is not possible to log into my application. So I need to go for open URL. After that, I go for login. After that, I need to go for continue my scenario. So, given is nothing but your precondition which executes initially. So, here I am writing, not writing any program. Just English like language. Why? Because if I am given this feature file, anyone can be able to understand. So, given. What is the given condition? User. Navigate to HMS homepage. That is the given means precondition. So whenever I am in the HMS login page, then only it is possible to enter. So how to open URL? We can write the program into some another place. That is called as step definition. So go to my website. In that, I need to click on HMS application. So here, okay, user is in the HMS. After that, when? What is the when? When is nothing but user actions whatever the actions i want yes whatever the actions i want to perform give that actions means whatever the actions i want to perform whenever user uh, Mahesh, yeah Mahesh, uh, 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 you write that given is a HMS login page because home page may be like we get confused home page is something that post login i'm not getting your voice sujit you can tell uh, i'm saying that uh, i'm saying that uh, for the given condition, hmm. HMS instead of HMS home page, can you please write the HMS login page? Because home page is something that after login. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's yeah, okay. So whatever is there based on the English understanding language, any can you can write it. Don't try to follow the same as it is, okay? Whatever the understandable language you can write into your language, okay. No issues, okay. I can make it as a HMS login page. Okay. Clear? No. So whenever user 
when yeah. whenever user enters username so what is my username i need to enter valid data so i need to enter user one and i need to enter password as user one so user actions will be mentioned into your when when is nothing but whatever the actions i want to perform i can give into my when condition then then is nothing but your expected results so my expectation is login should be successful so this is called as one feature file a feature file contains many scenarios feature is nothing but a high level business functionality it contains scenario is nothing but what is the functionality which we need to validate so which is under test that is called a scenario given is nothing but a precondition when is nothing but our user actions then is nothing but our expected results so all these we discuss in the first class check that notes whatever i am explaining in first class see first class i am explaining this one cucumber what is a cucumber when it was implemented so cucumber is extension of the test driven development framework and what are the languages it is supported where i can use cucumber and why cucumber we are using so cucumber basics first i need to go for a feature file sample feature file i am written here so what is a feature feature is a high level business functionality application under test what is the scenario these words given when then all these are given some language that language is called as gherkin language so i am explaining up to here in my first class yes harsh and swarna this is up to here last class i explained yes yes sir yes given when then up to here i can explain in the first class now i can continue from here okay so along with these keywords given when and then there is one more keyword is there that is called as background the next keyword is background so when we go for this background keyword background is nothing but suppose one step is continuously running into multiple scenarios then we need to use that step into our background suppose here i need to check login functionality with valid data same like that i have one more scenario is there i need to check login functionality with invalid data okay suppose here i am entering mahesh user one so login should not be successful so just i am writing something okay so example i am writing so two scenarios are there but you can see in these two scenarios compulsory open url is the common suppose maybe third scenario fourth scenario fifth scenario my 10 scenarios contains only one thing that is called as open url is must and should to perform any operation I need to go for open URL. So at that time, whenever one step is required to perform each scenario, then those steps we need to place into your background. So at that time, what I am writing is there. I can give background given here. This step simply I can return. No need to write in every scenario. Remove this. Here also remove this. But because commonly all the scenarios I can use it before scenario you can give one keyword that keyword is nothing but you can give as a background in that background I can give my scenario why because for every scenario that is common compulsory I need to go to the HMS login page at that time so when we go for background Whenever one step is used in multiple scenarios, at that time I need to place in a background. So that is we need to go for the background. One of the keyword is there, background keyword. So whenever one step is required to perform each scenario. then those steps need to be placed in background yes that is the background keyword example is see this user navigate hms login page i want to use the multiple scenarios 
at that time i don't want to write in each and every scenario simply i need to go for the background after that sometimes i can use the and keyword and and is also one of the keyword is there and means suppose a single scenario i am writing two steps which is related to single one and combining two or more steps same type of actions means uh, where see suppose here when user enter user name here i am writing normal and okay then i can use the keyword here when user enter user name and user enter password as a user one then login should be successful if i want to write one more yes when i can perform operation immediately and home page should be opened yes sir no why because at the time of entering user name compulsory i need to go for and condition why because performing single action i need to perform two operations are there at the time i am writing feature file like this so feature file is login functionality i need to verify my scenario is i need to verify the login functionality with the validated data and my given condition is given user navigate to hms login page user enters username user1 and user enters a password user1 then login should be successful and as well as home page should be displayed the two or more steps i can combine in a single action then i need to go for and and is also one of the keyword so uh, mahesh uh, in negative scenario hmm. so suppose i am taking wrong password ah. so then, so then would be login should be unsuccessful and home uh, error should be displayed error should be the yeah, same thing i can write here Okay, the I, like it is correct. Yes, correct. Suppose you can see in previous scenario. Suppose you can see if I am entering wrong ID. Suppose if I am entering Mahesh, then what happen? Login should not be successful as well as error message should thrown. Yes or no? Is it correct or not? Yes, yes. So that's what like I was asking. Yes. Fine, got it. Thank you. You can write it. See, whatever you have written, just understandable language, English language. You can write, and then you can add only these keywords: given, when, then, and. That is only feature file. Why? Because if I am given this file to any non-technical person, any non-programmer, any BA, any developer, he is able to understand or not? That is my main concept. so like that you can write anything okay so this is one of the feature file so when we go for and and is used to combine two or more steps same type of action so that is the and example now i have one scenario is there see we are very familiar with this uh, selenium all the guys we are all the experts in selenium so all of my students are very expert in selenium now in this io streams already explained there is one concept is there login with retesting concept is there so what is this login with retesting concept i am maintaining all my test data into excel file and taking all my data and executing it means executing one functionality with multiple test data i need to execute have you remember this program i was saying how to take the data from the excel file in our workspace i maintain one excel file so our workspace is 915 pm batch in our automation test data this is in login excel as file multiple test data is there i am taking all this data i am executed already we have seen this program into my this program same thing i want to write into my feature file i want to perform login with multiple test data how to write that feature file see 
normally how to write it here feature pipe i need to check with login functionality this is the way how to write up to now whatever the knowledge is there we can write like this first feature pipe login functionality feature in hms so all with either valid or whatever it is i am not mentioned here just i am checking login functionality okay so given user navigates to hms login page if we enter user 1 and user 1 login should be successful first i need to go for valid data okay home page should be displayed i have one more scenario is there that is My scenario is, I want to check same thing but with the different values I need to check it. So this time I want to enter admin, I need to enter admin. Login should be successful, home page should be displayed. Here I need to enter user1 Same login should be successful Home page should be displayed Okay, same like that I have one more scenario I am created one more new user that is my username password Mahesh and Mahesh. This is also valid one into that HMS application. So here I need to enter Mahesh. So here first I need to check with all the valid data. Three scenarios are there. Feature functionality is I need to check the login functionality. First time I need to check with user one. Okay, login should be successful. Home page should be displayed. <laughs> Second scenario admin. Okay, login should be successful. Home page should be displayed. Third one, Mahesh and Mahesh, yes, it is a valid, successfully login and it should be displayed. Now, instead of creating these many scenarios, how to reduce these many scenarios in my feature file? That is my concept. Why? Because, suppose there are 20 values are there. In Excel file, simply you can see, I am taking all the values into Excel file. Just I am writing three lines of the code. Zero comma I, one comma I, I am taking the data and I am executed. But what about this feature file? If 20 lines, 20 valid IDs, passwords are there, 20 times scenario, 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 scenario. Each and every scenario, first value, second value, third value, fourth value, I can write. How to reduce these many scenarios in my future file? That is my concept. Are you getting it? Concept. Yeah. So, how to reduce these many scenarios? How to perform the retesting concept? Means, in the feature files to reduce these many lines one more keyword is there that keyword is nothing but scenario outline just now up to now i'm using scenario just i'm introducing one more scenario outline is the keyword this is the one more keyword is there scenario outline so scenario outline is used whenever we can test single functionality with the multiple test data scenario outline when we test same functionality with multiple So here I need to check the login functionality with multiple test data. Up to now, as per my knowledge, I don't have any option. Compulsory, I can write the three scenarios. But I have one alternative is there. I can mention scenario outline. So what I'm doing is there. No, I don't want to create this many. I need to delete all my scenarios in my feature file. I can write only one scenario. Instead of scenario, you need to write 
scenario outline. Okay, what is my scenario outline? I am login functionality with multiple valid test data. Okay, fine. Oh, what I'm doing is there user navigate to the HMS login page. Okay, precondition is fine. When user enters username, so here don't mention your data. Then what I can mention? You one parameter that is I can pass one username. User enter password. I can give one parameter password. So what happened is there? Okay. When user enters username and user enters password, then login should be successful. Home page should be displayed. So where I can give this data? In my normal program, I am given as an Excel file. I am reading this Excel file by using file input stream workbook get workbook I am taking. But what about my future file? Here future file. There is one more keyword is there that is examples. So by using examples, you need to give your file use. So first, what is the parameter? First parameter is username. Separated by every column should be separated by that pipe symbol pipeline password. So these values should be matching. Suppose, sir, my value is A, sir. Now, okay, no problem. My password value is B, sir. Then what happened? In feature file, in examples, don't give username and password. Whatever the values are the parameters, you can give that A value, B value. Okay, like that you can give any names, these names. So, for better understanding purpose, I am entering username, I am entering password. So, here I am giving my value. So, what is my first value? My first value is I need to enter user1. Separated by this pipe symbol, user1. Next, second value I need to enter admin. Separated by pipe symbol, admin. Next, I can use my name. After that, my name. This is simple scenario that is called as scenario outline. One keyword. I want to perform multiple test data into my application. I need to go for the scenario outline. And in this, see, in that example, in this example, whatever the column names are passed to, these column names are passed to your when statement. Note, write down these points. I will write down these points after that. I will share my notes. Okay, my first point is in that above example, whatever the column names are there, as a parameter to when statement. Example is nothing but not normal examples. These examples, observe. I am telling about these examples. It is not a just I am giving some examples now. Suppose for example, for example, I am telling not like this example. Okay, remember. So in examples, in above these examples, whatever the column names are there, those values are passed as a parameter to your when statement. First point you need to remember. Second one, in the place of scenario, just you need to write scenario outline. We have to use scenario outline. After that. Whatever these examples are there, in that example, all the values, all the arguments are available in that form of a table format. What is this vertical pipelines? These vertical pipelines. These vertical pipelines are used to separate two different columns. So each and every column will be separated by this pipe column. So an example contain how many columns? Any number of columns you can use. That is your wish. The third point, remember this third point. My 
multiple arguments in a tabular format. That vertical pipes are used. separate two different columns so a scenario contains an example contains how many columns any number of columns so these points you need to remember about our scenario outline that is how to define the Scenario outline. Clear everyone? Scenario outline. When we go for scenario outline, at the time of passing multiple values to our test, means at the time of retesting concept, how I'm using that Excel files, same concept I'm using with the keyword of scenario outline. After that, you can view the examples in a table format, you can view your values, it will be passed that. That is called as a work scenario outline. So up now what we have to discuss, future, scenario, given, when, then, and, and scenario outline. Seven keywords I explained. Why? Because later on some concept after two classes, I am configuring Cucumber and I can write the step definition files. In that files, we are not never seen this at the rate test and all this. We are saving only at the rate given, at the rate when at the red then those keywords we can see in the programming so first you should have familiar with this feature files how to read the feature files why because based on this feature file whatever you were given at that given statement based on this step i can write the step definition file so what is the step definition file later on we will discuss why because this file is not executable file just understanding purpose i'm written feature file based on this feature file each and every step I can return one separate step definition file in that I can execute. So this is anyone, any person able to understand. That's why I'm telling Cucumber is a bridge between the BA, test engineer and developer. Anyone can able to understand. Even though if a non-technical person is there, he is able to write the feature files. Why? Because I'm using some common language, but that common language name is Gerkin language. Why? Because I'm using some keywords given, when, then, scenario outline, scenario. All these common words are coming from that Kirchner language. So that is the scenario outline. After that, one more is there. That is tags. How to use the tags? One more keyword. When we go for this tags means, suppose, Normally, Cucumber by default will execute all the scenarios in all the feature files. Okay, up to here fine. But sometimes in my real time project, I have hundreds of feature files are there, hundreds of scenarios are there. At that time, I don't want to execute all the feature files every time. Suppose there is one concept is there in manual testing, smoke testing is there. At the time of smoke testing, I don't want to execute all my test cases. Some selected test cases are there. Only those test cases I can execute. Same like that. I have 100 feature files are there. I don't want to execute these all 100 feature files. I can execute only some selected feature files at the time of some particular smoke test. At the time, I can use one tag that is called as at the rate smoke test. This is one of the tags. So only whatever the tag I'm given that smoke test before the feature, only that feature file will be executed instead of executing all the 100 feature files. If I'm not given any tag, it will execute all the feature files and all the scenarios. So due to that reason, I need to add these tags. There are some tags are there, smoke test, at the rate login test, at the rate positive, at the rate negative, multiple tags are there. We will see one by one, I will explain. Okay, so normally, we go to the cucumber cucumber by default will run all the scenarios in 
all the feature files. It will run all the scenarios in all the feature files. But in the time of real time project, there could be hundreds of feature files. are not required to run at all the time at that time I can use this type of tags suppose in 100 feature files only whatever the feature files are related to my smoke test only those features I can execute it example what are the feature files related to need not to run all the time at the time of smoke test only I can run it so whatever the feature file we want to run we can give one tag that is Tag. Then Cucumber will run only those feature files. How to write it just before feature? You can give at the red smoke test. Suppose the same example. I'm feature, I'm entering multiple values, I'm giving all the valid data. Same feature file I can write here, but before that, suppose 20 feature files are there. In all the 20 feature files, I need to execute only some, some 5 or 6. Before this feature, you need to add smoke test. So, whatever the smoke test feature file is there, only those feature files are executed at the time of smoke testing. It won't execute all the 100 feature files. So, just I am explaining only theoretically how to use this, but how to implement it we will see in the step definition and at the time of after installation cucumber at the time of programming we will discuss but present theoretically you can understand so when we go for this tag what is the scenario outline what is the when what is the given what is the then what is the background what is the smoke test and all these and sometimes suppose same scenario after smoke test now i want to start the real testing at the time of real testing also you can see at the time of smoke testing also I need to open an URL. Compulsory I need to open an URL, yes. Either it is a smoke test or normal test, whatever it is. Without opening any URL, it is not possible to perform. Sometimes same scenario I can run in the smoke testing at the time of real testing. Means at the time of login functionality also open URL is found. At that time I can add the multiple tags. That feature file will be executed at the time of smoke test. That feature file will be executed at the time of login. That feature file will be executed somewhere else. So I need to add the multiple tags also. This is I'm adding only single tag that is the smoke test. So how to add the multiple tags? What do you add the multiple tags? Suppose same one feature file I want to run in the smoke test and I want to run same scenario into at the time of login test also. This is my requirement. Suppose one feature file can be used for at the time of smoke test. as well as for log test scenario also why because 
open url is common for smoke testing and login testing and login logout and i want to verify registration so this is common so at that time that feature file i can add it at the time of smoke test i can add suppose if we want to run scrape for smoke test then we use at the rate smoke test similarly if you want to use if you want to run not the use if you want to run script for login test then we can use at the rate login test tag so for feature file single feature file how many number of tags i can use any number of tags you can use feature file Order. At the time of execution. Yes, sir. Like if I have given uh, one, two, three tags. Okay. Then execution will happen in the order one, two, three, or three, two, one, or like how? No, 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 no. At the time of execution, we will discuss why. Because at the time of step definition, I am given this scenarios into my file now. In that file, I am given some order. Based on that order, it is executing. Oh, okay, okay. I need to explain this concept. step definition concept so in it we need to clear idea about how to executing that scenarios and everything all right all right all right no so a number of tags can be mentioned to the feature file as well as our scenarios also so how to add it same scenario whatever scenario is there simple you need to give after smoke test you need to go at the rate logging test and why because one feature file is available smoke test and logging test two tags are available at the time of step definition i can write the programming at the time if i am calling smoke test this is executed if i am calling logging test yes again this is why because two tags are available here it is executed same like whatever i am explaining here observe i am explaining xml files concept in our programs in test ng i am using xml file how it is executed whenever go to your xml file parameter tag is available or not in that parameter tag this username password is available or not it is checking yes or no just you can compare our program whatever the programs i am explaining in selenium same programs you need to compare in your feature files also see here first parameter name username is available so it is coming to your test ng class and it is checking it as yes, username is available password is available these names can be substituted here same like that whatever the feature file i am given at the rate smoke test login test it is looking into your step definition in that whatever the tag i am given that tag will be executed so once we i can explain step definition then you can get clear idea but up to now whatever the keywords are there whatever the tags are there those i am explaining so how to implement these steps into step definition in future after one or two classes we need to discuss this is how to use the multiple tags so here i am adding the tags to the feature what about my scenario yes sir. scenarios also you need to add the tag similarly we can specify tags to run the specific scenario in your feature file up to now i'm adding to the feature only feature i'm adding the smoke test only 
but whatever my scenario has no problem definitely you can add into your scenarios also how to add i'm taking simple scenario previously i'm taking entire username password and see suppose i'm taking this feature file my feature file contains two scenarios one is observe i am writing adding tag to my scenario so this is my feature file okay login functionality with hms given when and then so first i am entering user 1 and user 1 so i am not given just i am verifying login functionality enough so but user 1 user 1 yes login should be successful and home page should be pop up this is my scenario same like that i have maybe one more scenario there in my application this time login functionality wait but here instead of user 1 i am entering mahesh so login should not be successful and uh, error message should be pop up so error message should thrown so now see tell me what is the difference between this scenario and this scenario what is the difference data and invalid data yes one is valid data second one is invalid data so at the time of normal test second one will... yes if i am checking one application with valid data that type of testing is called as positive testing huh? what is the testing yeah happy path positive testing yes positive testing why because i am checking an application with valid data is called as a positive testing if i am checking my application with or happy data is called as a negative testing yes clear now you can add one tag before this scenario this is my positive scenario so i can make it as a, at the rate positive scenario this scenario is I am checking with invalid data, so I can make it as a negative scenario. So these are all the tags are there, multiple tags. What are the tags? At the rate smoke test, at the rate login test, at the rate positive scenario, at the rate negative scenario. So I can use the tag to feature files as well as the scenarios also. So previous example is how to add the tag to the feature file. This example is how to add the tag name to the scenario. Got it? So now, today I explained you. These are all the keywords. First, I can start with future, scenario, given, when, then. After that, background. Whenever one step is required to multiple scenarios, I need to make it as a background and is used to combine the two or more steps in a single action. I want to verify single function with multiple tests that I need to go for scenario outline. Your main thing is based on the examples. Table format, it will take the data. After that, tags. So, Kukuma normally execute all the feature files and all the scenarios. But I want to execute a particular feature file and particular scenario. I need to add the tags. So what are the tags are there? Smoke test tag, login test tag, and I can add the tag to the particular scenario that is called as positive scenario and negative scenario. Along with this, there are some concept is there theoretically. Suppose scenario outline. When we go for scenario outline, login functionality with the retesting multiple data. But in real time, some scenarios are there like this. Observe this scenario. This scenario outline, why I'm using I'm checking login functionality with multiple test data. I'm going for scenario plan. But sometimes my scenario is like this. Suppose I want to automate Facebook page. I want to register into Facebook. I want to register to this Facebook. Then anyone write the feature file? 
I am scenario. My scenario is I want to register into my page. Go. Anyone can place, write this in a feature file. Whatever the knowledge I'm explaining based on that. Can you write the feature file? Yes, sir. Yes, how to write the feature file? Here multiple values are available. For this scenario, I want to write feature file. You need to tie it. How are you writing? Just in notepad, English language only. This is not a programming and everything. Simple. Whatever I'm explaining based on these scenarios. See, login functionality scenario. Same like that. Login in Facebook, whatever it is. But don't write scenario outline. Why? Because it is not retesting. Uh, go to your previous example. Uh, like this, you can write it. Feature file, scenario, given, when. If and is required, you can use it. Otherwise, don't use and then. Just type this one feature file. How to write it? For this scenario. I, my scenario is, I want to registration into this Facebook. So anyone can tell how to write it? Feature file. Ayo, no one. So many participants are there. But no one responding. Oh, hmm. Scenario Facebook login. What about feature? No, no, you can see. First, I need to start with feature. Okay, login functionality for Facebook. Login functionality. For Facebook. Login functionality for Facebook, then scenario. Login functionality, Neha? Login functionality for Facebook. Are they... Login functionality feature in Facebook. Is it a login functionality? If I'm asking this one, then it is a login feature. Okay. Hmm, what I'm doing here? You want to, you want to add an account? Yeah, I want to create an account means I want to register into the Facebook. So registration is there. Hmm. So what I'm doing? So just to, uh, yeah, tell me what I'm doing. Registration feature uh. in Facebook. So can I write? New user registration in Facebook. Is it understandable? Yeah. No. What yes. is scenario? Scenario is uh, registration with valid data. Okay. Fine. What is given? Yeah, the Facebook login page here. Yeah. User open up the Facebook registration page. So user navigate to Facebook login page. Is it okay? Registration page. Okay, fine. Please. Yeah, login same. Page. Why? Because it is same. Login registration both are within the same page. Observe. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. On the on the same page. So it will be like, easy to understand. That's why. Anything, no issues. Yes. So. User navigate to Facebook login page. Ah, next. When user enters first name, last name, email address, ah. lots of data here. Yes, one second. So user enter the ah. first ah. first name hmm. and user enters last name. Ah. And user enter email. Data for, uh, lots of data. Okay. If you are writing these when conditions, where is your data? Data compulsory observe each and every feature file. You need to mention your data also. Yes or no? What is when condition? See, user enter valid username, user one, and valid password, user one. Then only login should be successful. But in your feature file, what you are telling? User enter first name, user enter last name is what I'm entering. Mm -hmm. Yes sir, no. Mm. Yes, yes. So that's why you can so, write this feature file scenario and send to my mail ID. So how you are writing, I will observe. Why? Because see, I will send all these feature files. Already I'm given some sample feature files. And today also I am explaining some feature files I'm explaining. Okay. 
based on this knowledge you can write one feature file i will see how you are writing i will check it okay write a feature file to register in facebook just in notepad it will take just two to three minutes time only how you are writing i will observe okay all right yes man yes so that is so today's concept is i am discussing some keywords your background and scenario outline tags and multiple are there after that, there are multiple keywords are there once we are familiar with all these keywords and kirkin language then i can write the program into my eclipse same eclipse whatever our workspace is there but here i am creating one project is selenium automation project same environment i need to create one more project to kumbhar automation project in that i can write the process but to selenium here selenium stand alone server jar file is there for cucumber multiple jars are there we need to download that jar files and we need to add it i will explain this procedure after one or two classes clear all of you 